Hey there, everybody. It's Peter with Indigo River Tiny Homes. I'm here with my beautiful daughter, Juliana, and I've got my lovely wife, Christina, uh, behind the camera. She's gonna be filling us in on any info I might miss. And we're here to show you our latest build, which is a 10 by 36 Homesteader Deluxe with uh, some upgrades like solar and extra set of storage stairs that we'll show you all uh, everything inside and out. So let's start up here on the front of the trailer here with the exterior storage. This comes standard on most of our houses where we have a two foot deep by the width of the house storage shed where you can store lots of stuff. We even have people store kayaks and things like that in here. It's about eight foot high on the inside. So lots of extra room. The mini split system goes down below to heat and cool the house. And this is built on a 10 foot wide by 36 foot long custom trailer with three triple axles triple axle trailer with uh, three 8K axles, so it has a 24,000 pound rating. This house weighs about 21 to 22,000 pounds. Uh, here in the rear storage, we have the solar power. I'll turn the light on in here. And this is the battery bank. We got four 5K batteries for a total of 20 kilowatt hours of, of battery. With a, six kil with a six kilowatt inverter, provides 240 volts of electricity to the house. And that's a exhaust fan over there? For exhaust fan, yeah, so when it gets, gets too hot, hot in, in here. here. Yeah, you know, we've got a temperature sensor here that turns it on. Over on the right hand side, we've got the whole house water filter and then the tankless water heater, which runs on propane. All right, y'all ready to go on to the inside of the house? I think, what's this thing? Oh, that's for the tankless. That's the vent pipe for the tankless water heater. It's a air intake and exhaust. So we'll go to the, this one has a set of French doors with the divided lights. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys real quick before everybody comes in. It's a big one. 375 square feet, is that right? Uh, no, this is closer to 400. Oh, is it? Yeah, I think it's 396 with the landings. Oh, when you include the landings, yeah. yeah. Okay, um, tell us about the kitchen. All right, we'll start out with the uh, kitchen sink. It's got a 32 inch stainless steel kitchen sink with uh, built-in accessories. Got has the lip with the, where you can hang the drying rack and the rinsing station. It's got the rinsing rack inside. Has a little and then pull the out. Cutting, that's the cutting board that's in there too. Right, yeah, that sits on inside the sink as well. Has a little pull out for your sponges and things like that. Got the trash can here in the pull out with a drawer above it. We have the toe kick drawers down below that pop out for extra storage down, down at the very bottom. There it goes. And Open shelving above, low profile microwave that with that vents to the outside. We have a three burner propane stove, propane cooktop, has a glass cover so you can uh, use it as counter space when you're not cooking. And just sits up like that with the oven big enough to cook a whole chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Usually it's a turkey, y'all. I guess yeah, he's... This is a little bit smaller oven than our regular ah, one. that's why. <laughs> uh, this one has the um, has a propane-powered refrigerator. So we can do the... Um, you can run it off-grid on low-voltage DC. And we also have some pull-out pantries here for lots of foods and for lots of food storage. Drawers down below. We've got some... Pull out pantries under the stairs. 
drawers, cabinets, tons of storage under the stairs. And I'm going to slowly show the this part while you make your way over All to right. the living area. And over here in the living area, we've got the, the little dining area set up here. Um, this pa table will pull out. This is an Ikea table that will pull out in seat four. It has little drawers in it, which is really neat. We've got um, the futon set up in, the, in front of the little alcove area with the TV and um, TV stand tucked away in there. So a cozy little area to snuggle up and watch TV. And then you also have the storage in the stairs here. And I think the homeowner is going to put her desk in that alcove. Uh, yeah, I believe so. And I think she's, and it's going to pull out. I think if she needs it, uh, it's going to be on little sliders. So, but I think she's close to retiring. So she's just going to have it there for a little while and then she can rearrange. Right. All right, let's go on into the bathroom. This is a, a divi divided light door, which the customer requested. And we've got the Ikea vanity straight ahead with the two, with the double drawers. That's a flush toilet that's in there, regular flush toilet. And then over in the corner here is where the um, stacked washer and dryer is gonna go. This is going to be a propane powered dryer. So we've got the propane line there. And we need to see inside that shower. Hi. <laughs> so it's a nice spacious, uh, what's the, what's that shape? Diamond shape? Yeah. Uh, yeah, they call that a Neo, Neo shape shower or something. Yeah. So plenty of space. 36 by 36, so three foot by three foot shower. Faux subway tile. Yeah. So that's good. Pull down for... shower head. Nice. And then we've got the. So no... a lot of times we put the laundry under here, but she's going to use this for storage. Mm -hmm. Underneath and we've got the, the medicine cabinet. A lot of people think this opens the wrong way, but it's actually so that the mirrors are back to back. So you can see the back of your head when you're doing your hair. And the linen cabinet above the toilet, of course. All right, huge bathroom. How how is it's a normal size bathroom? Uh, no, it's seven foot by seven foot. Okay, so bigger than we'll so this size house we typically put that that size. Oh okay. But smaller houses will be five by seven. Right. Okay. It's hard to remember all these numbers. <laughs> okay, so this is our. Deluxe stand-up loft. She decided not to do the double wardrobes because she has a, I think it was an antique sewing machine that's going to go over here. So lots of space over here. Got the sconces over the head of the bed. Shelves, the set of two shelves here. On the other side, there's a ledge for flowers. A lot of times we'll make this... Um, the showing will be pushed back more so you can fit a king size bed here, but she just wanted a queen, so she wanted uh, more shelving on the back side. We've got. Um, I'm just going to show kind of the whole. And then the step, built got in a step steps. Step here. We've got one there and one on the foot of the bed for make it easier to get in and out of bed because this is a little bit high. But the, the step makes it easy to get in and out. Yep, and there are no drawers because the bathroom is under there. That's all your headspace for the bathroom. Yeah, people always ask, what's Why underneath? Why don't you have drawers in the <laughs> bed platform? <laughs> yeah, what's underneath the bed? Is there any storage there? But yeah, that's the head of the of the bed. We get the shot of the double ceiling fan there. Those are the best. So here I'll show the ledge. It's a nice space here for storage or plants or whatever. And then the catwalk another FAQ is do you have to have the catwalk you don't have to you don't have to some of our houses don't but you can put plants or like storage bins up there and then it makes a good place to put the lighting mm -hmm. and like the cabinets are kind of anchored there 
that everything? Well, we so, got to go up to the second Well, loft. yeah, I meant except the last. Almost everything. So another storage staircase. This has a, that's a little lift up, the triangle. You want me to okay. lift it up? Okay. And we got another step up. So this is our homesteader crawling loft, but when you do the back stairs, we call it sometimes, the extra storage staircase, you get this little landing that you can stand up on. So it's kind of a half stand up loft. <laughs> Along with the additional wardrobe. Ah, Juliana's lounging up here. Hi. So I love this space because, well, it's, it's, it looks kind of small, but it really is like spacious and stuff. Like you got a twin bed in here, and there's still like a ton of space. And you could put a king bed. You so anything, bed. any size bed yeah. can go in here. And uh, so. Yeah, and even if you put like, and if you put like a double bed or like a full, same thing, but you know, uh, it would sit, like you would still have like some space a little bit like on the side. Yeah. So you could put like maybe bins there or something. Bean bag. Bean bag, anything. Whatever you want. Know. You want to show daddy over the, show the view over the wall, the pony wall. Yeah. All right. I hope you all liked it. Thanks for tuning in. Come check us out if you're in the area. We're having an open house soon. So check our website for events. Be sure to click like and subscribe down below. And we hope to see you soon. We love you. Take care. Bye-bye.